Good evening, good witching hour, and welcome to the Magic Forest. Um, lots of news, haven't been around for a while. With that shoulder thing, being in the city, didn't leave home much. Um, but that was okay, quite chill. My shoulder's so much better now. Um, I can work again, which is good. So I had a few good full days work before I came away. And then I went down to Saigon and I sorted out um, the business, <laughs> the business. Mm. So uh, the Magic Forest Company Limited uh, is now a real business of which I am the owner um, and it is registered in Vietnam. So uh, um, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's the best thing ever. I was so happy yesterday. Um, and Hong Wei got her visa like at the last minute um, because like uh, our agent was in the queue in the Vietnamese immigration and he sent, needed to send the paper to the Thai, the Vietnamese embassy in Taiwan and he was like four people <laughs> back in the queue and she was like the, the, the counter was about to close so it's like a nail-biting thing because otherwise they wouldn't have been able to come uh, on Monday which is when George's flight is booked um, because you can only book the specific flight for the dog so that is awesome like i'm so happy like everything needed to work yesterday um you know the business registration i needed to renew my business visa hongwei got her business visa and george is coming george and hongwei is coming on monday so we will be a full magic forest team um in vietnam with an actual real business which is awesome um, I'm in a beautiful place, obviously. Not terrible. <laughs> um, I'm in Da Nang. Um, I just wanted to check out Da Nang and um, one of my beautiful friends from Korea is here. Um, so uh, I will see her at some point. And uh, yeah, I just needed to come here because I Everybody says, you should go to Da Nang. <laughs> and I'm like, I have been before, but it was, it was like just a day and a night. So I didn't get much time to explore. And today I rented a motorbike and uh, drove out to this beautiful lake. <laughs> so nice. I, I was trying to head up into the hills, into the mountains. And uh, went up, it said Banna Hills. And I was like, ah, oh, that sounds nice. And I got there, it was like this massive tourist complex with cable cars going up to the hill they wanted 800,000 to go up on the cable cars like oh my god I'm in the wrong place get away from the tourists um, and I saw this lake on the map so I thought well, that's worth a try and it was worth a try uh, there's absolutely no humans or tourists <laughs> in sight um, so just chilling here I've got a packed lunch down there so we're gonna have a packed lunch watch the sunset over this lake and um, yeah that's today and then go back in and there's a few uh, uh, Da Nang's a cool place it's got a nice like sort of chill vibe and some cool bars and um, yeah it's a, it's a nice place to go um, so find some I've got some art bar addresses um, and so I have a night on the town again uh, it's kind of nice when you don't drink, you kind of, because um, uh, I haven't drank, I, I, I quit drinking again, um, because I can work now. And one thing about making fairies is you need a really steady hand. And, um, <laughs> so you can't drink, you can't make work after the day after, you can't make work two days after drinking if you are making fairies. So fairies kind of stop me from drinking. Um, which is a blessing. <laughs> Fairies save me. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I've been on the wagon for about eight days now, um, which has been great. And I was worried, like, doing the business trip down to Saigon. It was like business trips, drinking, stress, um, or 
business trips and stress is a good excuse for drinking. Well, there's never a good excuse for drinking, actually. Um, but I managed to survive it. And uh, I think, like, I almost didn't trust myself. I was, I was like, oh, I, I might fail at this, this staying on the wagon, uh, you know, and there's so much temptation around every corner. Um, but, uh, yeah, I almost didn't trust myself, but then I thought every time the kind of the red flag or the beer, um, came into my mind, I just took it one at a time and said, I don't want that. I, I don't want to be that person. Um, and so, yeah, it's a good feeling. And yesterday I was just, on the way to the, back to, to the airport, I was just so happy because just registering the business has been a really quite a long journey and um yeah it's, no, it's never easy you know because you need to find the loopholes if you do it like the legal route it costs like a hundred you have to have a hundred and twenty thousand us dollars which i don't um <laughs> and so you have to do loopholes and sometimes you have to pay someone just to find the name of the person that you need to pay <laughs> um, uh, but all the right people have been paid and I've got the paperwork so uh, yeah it, 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 I was just so happy on the way to the airport as you just crying I just filled up I was just like and crying with happiness is a beautiful uh, a beautiful thing you know? um, and here we are so every you know we've we've phase one of registering the business um, now I've got a business I can get a, a residence card which means I'll be able to buy a van um, and so then we can buy a van and then travel around and start looking for magic forest areas which is kind, kind of what I'm doing <laughs> <You know? laughs> just looking for places that has got woodland and, and um, just in from the coast because we don't want to be by the coast because obviously uh, wooden huts and sea storms don't exactly mix so we need to find a valley and I found a valley <laughs> um, and I get like it it's amazing how much cheaper the land gets when you move away from the tourist areas and we don't want to be in the tourist areas we want to be off the beaten track um, or off the main tourist route you know like uh, the main tourist route kind of goes so many people go from Hanoi and um, down to Saigon like driving motorbikes and so we want to be just off that um, and also like Da Nang's a big tourist area and um, it, but say like uh, you can just drive sort of half an hour into the hills or 40 minutes into the hills or I think I drove an hour into the hills but I got a bit lost um, and that's what we're looking for. So kind of scouting nice areas. Um, and Da Nang's really good as well because they uh, really want to encourage foreign investment in, to in tourism. So uh, they help you. Uh, the, 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 the Da Nang uh, government or municipality, uh, you know, really, I spoke to them and they were just so good, like just free, helpful service so that uh, people don't get robbed and uh, you know they help you find properties and they seem so it seems like a good province um, to be um, because some places they actually um, um, you know you get you, you have to pay police bribes all the time and um, you know uh, it's, <laughs> it can be a, it can be a struggle um, but in Da Nang, there is that element of that they want you to be there and they want to protect you. Uh, so it is a good option. Uh, and then, yeah, flying back uh, to Hanoi on Monday to meet George. And then I've got a crazy amount of work to do because I've got to make a, um, a video for the polymer clay, the World Polymer Clay Symposium, which is a privilege to be asked to do um but um, my shoulder is still not great enough to hold up to the camera <laughs> um it is it's a beautiful thing to be asked to do um and it's good exposure and 
uh, you just need to make a video of making a fairy and then uh, like a kind of an instructional video of making a fairy and then um, they have like a weekend for the symposium so it's like a, so then you sort of live talk through your video and people can ask questions and um, like that so um, it's very much worth doing but it does mean that I've got about 10 days to make a fairy uh, when I get back um, so that is the main agenda when I get back um, to Hanoi but I've got a plan I've uh, done the photography of the model and so um, it's all ready to go I just need to sit down for 100 hours <laughs> actually I hope it will be a bit quicker because I should know what I'm doing and it's not an overcomplicated pose anyway um, I'm going to have my packed lunch and enjoy oh, pack, packed packed liner I guess it's a packed liner <laughs> and enjoy this beautiful landscape but everything is good and the magic forest is on its way my shoulder is better and George and Hongwei are coming on Monday and the magic forest company limited is a real thing and I am the owner of it I'm a business owner that means it's difficult to call yourself a businessman if you don't have a business <laughs> now I have a business that makes me officially a businessman. <laughs> then I just look like one. Anyway, I love you and um, sorry for uh, not, not seeing you for a while. Um, it's been mental. <laughs> but I love you and I shall see you in the Magic Forest Company Limited. <laughs>